Now, as for Asia, I just want to share with you this chart. After the Trump rally, everything emerging markets or Asia has been, because of the currency, because of strong US dollar, people are afraid. It's been an asset class that, that has been avoided. So as November, December, you saw Asian markets did not perform well. But the reality is something a little bit different. If you look at, if you just believe in growth story, the fundamentals, there has actually been a divergence between between the economic fundamentals of Asia or emerging markets and the MSCI Emerging Markets Index. This here captures the Purchasing Managers Index, which is really a proxy to uh, businesses, procurement managers, optimism about the business cycle. And if you also look at the earnings revision numbers, it's actually all trending up. But in spite of that, the markets have not reacted positively because everyone is so fearful of what Trump's going to do. And when I talk, and although it shows emerging markets, just for information, Asia makes up 70, 71% of emerging markets. 71% uh, of the emerging markets index. So a lot of that is probably a reflection of the bearishness on, uh, on Asia. Some of the other positive things that are coming through for Asia is for Ch China, some of you who are China watchers, Chinese PPI numbers for the longest time, for I think for, for 50 months consecutively was declining. But since October, it started to turn around and over the past three months, PPI numbers in China has actually turned positive. And why is that important? Because PPI numbers tend to be correlated to industrial companies' profits. And China, while we all have our different individual views about China, China has actually been fairly successful, at its own pace of course, but China has been fairly successful in shutting down excess capacity, in trying to reform and rationalize capacity in some of the industries uh, which has resulted in profitability rising for these companies. So these are the right things to do. Not to the extreme of what a capitalist market like the US would do, but this is Chinese style. Um, you have to be mindful about employment in China as well, but they have done it in coal, in steel, in cement. So these are also opportunities for us managing an Asian portfolio that we can capitalize on. As profitability improves for some of the sectors, uh, the stock prices should move up in tandem. The other theme that is very strong in Asia, and now people are talking about it in the US as well, is of course pump priming and infrastructure spending. Those of us in Malaysia are very familiar with pump priming because our Malaysian government is always pump priming, always spending money on, on MRT, la, LRT, la, uh, the train to, to the East Coast. But this is also happening in other regions in the world. Um, and within Asia, in countries such as Thailand, Indonesia, Philippines, the drive to invest in infrastructure where it's required uh, is a theme that we believe we can capitalize on and try to generate returns for our portfolios. And finally, as far as investing is concerned, fund managers will always tell you what are the three important things to look at. First is, of course, the fundamentals. So fundamentals, you're talking about earnings, you're talking about growth, talking about balance sheet, you're talking about cash flows. Second important thing that us as fund managers always look at is valuations. You buy something cheap, your probability of making money is always higher than if you pay up expensive, your chances of making money is lower. So when you look at valuations for Asia, it is trading almost one standard deviation below its average, which means it's cheap. And there's a, there's a reason why it's cheap. It's cheap because everyone's fearful of Trump. Everyone's fearful of the reflationary policies, the pump priming is going to do, the impact on interest rates and the impact on the US dollar. But if you ask me, I think, I hope it's not famous last words, but I hope it's sufficiently priced in. There's enough priced in, uh, concerns over what Trump is going to do. And as I mentioned earlier, our base case is that it will be a little bit more diluted, as opposed to the extreme views that he's been talking about. So valuations is cheap in Asia. And finally, the third thing we always look at as fund managers is the technicals. 
And by technicals, I mean the positioning of investors globally into the market, into a stock, or into a region. And on this note, if you look at sentiment, and it hasn't changed, although this is from uh, end November, sentiment towards the region is actually in despair. So people are fearful, people are avoiding it. And that is when opportunities presents itself.